I am not a natural gardener. I don't do it every year, but this year I decided to take out all those overgrowing weeds in the backyard and the front yard and decided to plant something. And it's not a lot of things, just some flowers, marigolds and impatiens and some random vegetable plantings that I got from people. And uh, I planted it in the front and the backyard. And before, I used to not really pay attention to the front and the backyard. And in fact, I sort of cringe when I pass by it. But now that I planted something, I look forward to opening my window every morning and seeing how the things are growing. And I am so happy when I see a little bit of growth um, and I will go out actually and take out the weeds and do the watering and it just brings me so much joy and it reminded me of uh, Steps to Christ. Nature and revelation alike testify of God's love. Our Father in Heaven is the source of life, of wisdom, and of joy Look at the wonderful and beautiful things of nature. Think of their marvelous adaptation to the needs and happiness, not only of man, but of all living creatures. The sunshine and the rain that gladden and refresh the earth, the hills and seas and plains all speak to us of the Creator's love. It is God who supplies the daily needs of all his creatures. In the beautiful words of the psalmist, the eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. So praise the Lord, what a wonderful earth that he has created for us. And I imagine when God sees us in our spiritual walk, especially when he sees any type of attempt at growth or just the fact that you are still hanging in there he is so happy and so proud of you so i hope you remember how precious you are to to god as the flowers growing in my garden is to me and with that i love you all god bless you and see you next time